Hey, Noah. Hey, Josh, how are you? Good, good, thanks, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. So, Josh, let's go ahead and get started. So, what attracted you to really want to know more about hurricanes and how the weather affects communities as you are on a mission chasing these storms? You know, that's a really good question because I'm not even sure what motivates me. I was born <laughs> with this desire to get inside hurricanes. I grew up on the East uh -huh. Coast on Long Island, and for as long as I can remember when I was just like a toddler, when a hurricane would come up the coast, I would just get excited by it, you know, almost like had like a drug-like yeah. reaction. And basically my whole life I've just been hunting that, that experience again and again, going further away from home and into more and more dangerous storms. And that was the genesis of this show, Hurricane Man. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever, I mean, of course, you probably don't really get scared, do you? you I mean, you're so used to it, but I mean, uh, uh, the viewers watch and think, oh my gosh, Josh has to be so brave to do this, to chase these storms. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's funny. You'd be surprised I do get scared because, you know, I'm really? not a dummy and these things are very yeah. dangerous. <laughs> I know, <laughs> well, right? Although a lot of people think I'm a dummy, but I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> But no, I, I absolutely have fear, you know, especially like uh, Hurricane Michael, which is uh, which is what the premiere episode of my show covers. Mm -hmm. That was a category five. That was scary stuff. But here's the wow. deal. My curiosity and my fascination for these experiences always just slightly outweighs the fear. And that's what drives me forward to get inside, to collect data, to document the event. Oh, yeah. But I, I get scared sometimes. Sure. You're going to actually take viewers on a global thrill ride into the heart of some of the most destructive hurricanes on the planet. So what can we see from this new series coming to the Science Channel? Yeah, and it's a great way you put it, global thrill, thrill ride, because that's kind of yeah. what it is. So basically, there's three crews. Okay, so one follows me as I hunt down the center of the hurricane on this dangerous mission to collect scientific data. Another crew mm -hmm. embeds with lo a local family in the path of the storm, just normal people dealing with the terror of it. And then a third crew embeds with the emergency services as they're rescuing people. So it gives this kind of multi-dimensional 360 degree look at what happens when a hurricane rams a town. And it could be in Japan, in the USA, in Mexico, in the Philippines. It's all over the world. And it's really cool because you get to see how different societies react to this. So it's part science, part action, part human interest. I and mean, there's a lot of tear jerking moments. You know, it's really, a, mm -hmm. it's got a little of everything. I mean, it's not like, you know, total science nerdiness. It's very multi-layered yeah. actually. Since we are speaking about hurricanes and your new series that's coming to the Science Channel this morning, I do want to mention Hurricane Dorian. You know, the Bahamas really got hit hard and destroyed by this massive storm. Um, would you happen to have an update on how things are going over there in the Bahamas? Yeah, you know, I was I was down there at ground zero for that hurricane, and I have to say Hurricane oh, wow. Dorian, and that was one of the most fearsome things I've ever been through. So Dorian mm -hmm. wasn't just a Category 5. It was way into Category 5. Sustained winds of 185 miles an hour, gusts well over 200. This thing was scary. Yeah. I rode it out at ground zero in a little town called Marsh Harbor, and the winds were so strong that even the concrete building I was in uh, was damaged really badly, and the cars mm -hmm. in the parking lot were just thrown around. So the devastation is very hard to capture in words. Uh, I posted a video online on YouTube that shows it, and, and that really captures it. Just large parts of this town just wiped out, just where, where there were once neighborhoods, and now just looks like football fields of rubble. Mm. And uh, they really need our help, and I'm glad to, to be able to get on TV and to get on the Internet and talk about this and say, yeah. we need to help them. This is really serious. I mean, there are thousands of people in desperate need of, of help. Yes. Josh, in case some of our viewers are watching this broadcast this morning, how can they get involved? How can they help the people that were affected in the Bahamas by this massive storm? Yeah, if you go on to my Twitter feed, iCyclone, um, I've been tweeting uh, sort of vetted charity organizations, ones that are reliable for donating money so that they can then figure out, okay, what's the best way to, to spend that money to bring immediate relief and also long-term reinvestment into those communities that were destroyed. Josh, I have one last question for you before we go. You know, this series will show storms that hit really all over our world, but what's been something that you've learned that you didn't know until you were filming this show? Well, 
because we go all over, all over the world, you do get a very different taste of how different societies, you know, handle things. And, mm-hmm. and one thing I have to say is, I've and I've seen this actually even before the series is, you know, Japan has some pointers, I think, on how to handle these. Japan has a string of islands called the Okinawa Islands that just get hit again and again. And they have very yeah. little damage, even in the strong ones, because they build everything out of concrete. So it's maybe... Uh, it, it, maybe some thinking that we can apply here in the U.S. in terms of how we build in hurricane zones. Well, there you have it, guys. Be sure to catch Hurricane Man. The two-hour premiere airs at a special time, Sunday, September the 15th, this Sunday, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time. And the remaining of the season will air Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Pacific, on Science Channel. Thank you, Josh Morgerman, for joining me this morning. It was a pleasure to speak with you. Likewise. Thank you. Take care.